everybody excuse my messy desk I've been working and I haven't cleaned it off I'm gonna share a, another journal that is going out for a private swap here tomorrow um, this is actually one of one of the first journals I ever made um, it was for a swap called the newsworthy swap which was based around old newspapers maps ledgers things of that nature the swap was canceled um, so I am gonna swap it personally with somebody who saw it and loved it um, so I have, this is just a regular book. I did, um, put down some map pages and things like that. And I mod podged them on. On the back here, you can see where there's like a hint of green. It's where some of my papers were, um, colored. This is an altered book, but it wasn't an altered book in the sense that I cut the signatures out. I kept the pages. I removed some of the pages and I kept others and... I did it that way. So let me move some things and let's get this. That's going to be kind of quick. My phone's not letting me use much time. So some layered elements and then just some goodies in this um, pocket here. I kept the front cover um, intact. Oh, I'm sorry, the closure seam binding um, intact because it was just black. So um, I just put like a little wooden tag and just some goodies here. So the pages are um, from a stack actually called Newsworthy um, that I got at Hobby Lobby a while back. So what I did was I took my pages and I covered both sides um, with that stack and then just some, um, you know, other papers that I had. And I made pockets out of book pages uh, and other things. I took little file folders like here on this belly bee and, and covered them with um, paper that, you know, went with the theme. Here's a coin envelope. And I took it and altered it a bit. And then um, I also have tags that go with the theme as well. Um, let's see here. A lot of coffee dyeing, uh, the papers, pockets. There's a pocket here with some goodies in it. Um, this was altered with an old vintage book I had. Um, a lot of altered envelopes. Uh, here's a tiny envelope there. It's pretty um, straightforward. There's not a lot of embellishing involved. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, um, which is usually pretty hard for me. So here's a homemade paper clip and then another um, altered, this is an altered bag. And The pages are really thick. I like that uh, because of, you know, layering on both sides. This was a card that pulls out there, and I just altered that up. So that just slides. If we can ever get it back open, you just slide right back on the page. And then I have, uh, oops, what am I doing here? What was I going to say? Oh, pockets. I'll show you the pockets in a minute. Another paper clip and then just some more altered, like old vintage items. Here's another pocket. And in this one, I have another one of those pull out cards. This one I have with paper she can journal on. Here I did some food coloring. If you haven't food colored papers, you're missing out with Kool-Aid. I do food coloring. I've done Kool-Aid before, but food coloring, um, I like to do that because I can either food color the water or I can take the white paper and just do drops of food coloring and, um, drop water on it and smear it around, but they turn out so beautiful. So if you haven't tried that, give it a try. You will not regret it. There's another pocket up here. Another tag I altered. Some more vintage book pages. Um, I don't know what I'm. What is this? I don't even know my own book. And then here at the end I have a file folder, and I put some stuff in there. A tag. This is an altered um, envelope, window envelope, and there's goodies in there. And this is another altered piece. Um, map piece that she can write on. And then here's a um, cute little envelope my sister made. 
And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Closes um, with seam binding. And that's it. That is my newsworthy journal. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.